name is Tomasz Wawrzyniak, on behalf of Jerzy Giżejewski, who prepared this material, and uh, myself. I would like to present you uh, the glaciers part two, the presentation about the equilibrium line altitude. The lower topographic limit of permanent snow cover is called the snow line or equilibrium line altitude, ELA, which is irregular line located along the ground surface where accumulation of snowfall equals glacial melting and evaporation. Line varies greatly in altitude. In fact, uh, you will draw the average altitude of snow line. Uh, you will get the information about the uh, altitude in response to worldwide climatic change. So for example, near poles, uh, this altitude reaches zero meters, so, so the sea level. In Poland, it's between 200 and 1,000 meters above sea level. In the zone, is between 800 and 3,200 meters above sea level. In tropical zone, Equilibrium line altitude is located between 5,000 and 6,000 meters above sea level. Near the third due to higher precipitation is between 4,500 to 5,000 meters above sea level. So above these uh, altitudes, different zones, the snow can uh, stay permanently throughout the year. Uh, this shows uh, the glacier. The accumulation area in upper parts, the relation area in lower parts. Between there is equilibrium line altitude. Uh, if the accumulation is dominant, so we have uh, the uh, ab accumulation zone, which uh, which can be bigger than ablation zone, they will have positive mass balance of the glacier. That will will mean that the glacier. Uh, and it's bigger and bigger. If the accumulation is higher than uh, is lower than ablation, that will mean that the glacier is retreating and the mass balance is negative. Uh, there is climate change, climate warming, so we serve negative mass balance of most of the glaciers around the world. Uh, so the ablation is higher than accumulation and glaciers retreat. Here is a picture taken in late summer. So on the upper parts of the glacier, that there is some snow from previous winter that didn't melt throughout the summer. So it's accumulation zone. And below there is a zone where all the snow and even some glacier ice melted away. Between the equilibrium line altitude ELA, yeah. uh, mass balance uh, snowpack depth is measured us using probing and snow pits. Uh, we also drill boreholes on different glaciers uh, to put their ablation stakes, and from those stakes we get information about the snow cover on the glacier and also on. Uh, gl uh, glacier ice cover melt in the uh, ablation zone, for example. In the ablation, there would be uh, snow that stayed throughout the summer, but in ablation zone, this snow and even some ice can melt away. So, if we drill the borehole in the glacier ice, in room, the ablation stake will be there throughout the winter, and during winter there is this accumulation of snow. In the end of the winter there will be the highest accumulation of snow, but during spring it starts to melt away, and during summer it melts continuously, and then at the summer or beginning of another autumn, uh, we can get the winter balance from previous uh, during spring the highest accumulation and we get information about summer balance so how much snow was uh, was melted away uh, so our ablation stake is now longer because it's visible so a glacier ice was melted and we get the information about annual 
of so-called net balance of the glacier. It's expressed in terms of water equivalent. So water will be melted from given thickness of snow or ice. For example, uh, 10 centimeters of snow with density 100 kilograms per cubic meter. If it melts, it would give one centimeter of snow water equivalent. While 10 centimeters of ice, which has density 900 kilograms per cubic meter, would give nine centimeters of, uh, of water equivalent. Measuring the mass balance of glacier, uh, that's Hansbren, the glacier uh, which is located near Polar Station in Hornsund. We have lots of ablation stakes, and uh, from those stakes we get information about the snow cover and about the uh, accumulation and ablation. Which uh, ablation stake looks like during winter. Uh, as shown before, on different ablation stakes we get different informations because uh, the higher uh, the altitude, uh, the, the, the more snow can be accumulated. Package, you are asked to uh, to observe and to to use the data from ablation and accumulation on Hans Bren. Uh, information provided to you by glaciologists uh, that do those measurements. They dig snow pits uh, through the snow cover and they get information about the density of snow at the depths. So they know the information of, uh, on what water equivalent. Um, the upper parts of the snowpack lower parts, density increases in depth. So uh, the, the air is pushed out from the snowpack and the glacier ice can be formed if more and more snow is accumulated above. Uh, if you will see or prepare this uh, pile along the glacier, uh, you'll have information about elevation of uh, the surface of this here. To uh, draw a morphological cross section profile, just follow the instructions, it should be easy for you. And uh, part B, you are asked to use the data uh, included in tables 1 and 2 to plot the bar graphs of accumulation and ablation. So you will be able to calculate the net balance for the subsequent ablation stakes. So different years, uh, you, there will be different data. You are asked to prepare such graphs. And mention about uh, the snow ablation and snow accumulation are that in work package on glaciers. And of the ablation stakes are on the left, T1, from T1 to T11. In and there is also a table with the data of monthly and annual means of air temperature. And in another task, you are asked to uh, use the morphological cross section of the glacier. Uh, you should write uh, in different years, you, you should, uh, yeah, add to the chart the minimal air temperature and observe equilibrium line altitude in different years and any correlation between EA and mean annual air temperature. Those uh, tasks interesting. Hope enjoy them. Wish you good luck and have fun filling all those 
tasks included in work package glaciers.